Well, nearly a year now into the baby formula shortage. It's better, but it's still a big problem for many parents. A sensei survey actually shows that 30% of parents had trouble finding formula just last month. Consumer reporter Heather Sullivan joining us now live with the latest Heather. Yeah, so Abbott's plant is back online. Other manufacturers have ramped up their production and supplies have been shipped in from other countries, but there is still not enough formula to feed all the babies that need it. So sometimes I have to travel from one store to the next store just to realize that both stores are out. The infant formula shortage continues for new parents like Ariel Franklin and her baby Majesty. And sometimes I have to substitute for a different formula and not every baby takes the formula the same. So my baby may get gassy sometimes or constipated. So it's been very, very difficult. The shortage has improved since Abbott reopened its Michigan facility after a massive recall. But Abbott just had another recall of some ready to feed liquid products. And they're calling constantly for the same thing every day. I, ha I get so many calls. Darlene Kearney at God's Lovely Butterflies Maternity Home continues to collect and distribute formula to families in need. Yeah, I'm very concerned um, at this moment because this, the baby, you know, so I'm concerned that why are we still having a formula shortage after this all this time? At the Motherhood Center. They are still just very nervous and what if my baby doesn't like this formula? Gabriella Gerhardt says it's a warning the system is too reliant on too few manufacturers. Went down, you know, to our to our knees, you know, on with this uh, formula shortage and um, realize how fragile that market is. The Texas WIC program just changed its contract for milk-based infant formula from Similac to Enfamil. Enfamil is in production 24-7 around the clock, and we are shipping in Enfamil from our uh, facilities around the world to meet demand here at home. And Enfamil offers advice on transitioning babies to a different formula. Most babies will switch over to a new diet within three to five days and do very well. Some may have some slight noticeable changes like gas or occasional spit up, but it's important to contact the baby's doctor if at any time you're feeling like your infant isn't making or adapting to the transition well. And write this down. If you cannot find formula, Enfamil wants you to call them at 1-800-BABY-123. I've put that number and a link to a baby formula finding tool on Sullivan Smart Sense on Fox26Houston.com. Heather Sullivan, Fox 26 News. Have